Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. Got a lot of money from yesterday. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Fun. I might make some more battery rods, or lightning rods if I can. Neutral spirits, that's fine. And what's the rerun today? Radish salad. So if you missed radish salad, go ahead and grab it, I suppose. Gotta say, I absolutely adore the fall music. Yeah, y'all happy today? Y'all better be. Got some more maple syrup. So the maple trees are the purple ones. Good to know. I always forget every single time. I'll tell you what. So I'm going to go ahead and do my chores, and I'll see you in a hot second. Hey, where's my other count? Hey, hey. where? Look at her. Crazy. Get milked. No big milks yet. Don't worry, we'll be getting that big milk soon. Thanks for your help with the fish. Nature is usually good at keeping things balanced, but sometimes artificial factors can cause an imbalance. I've enclosed a blueprint from the science magazine that you might find interesting. I see, so you gave this to us later. A farm computer. Ooh, that's fun. I'd like to give my cows a special treat. They're such good girls and hungry too. Could you bring me a bunch, one bunch of amaranth? Guess I'll buy some amaranth then. That reminds me, actually. I should have done this last night. All of my mixed seeds I should plant. 21. Jeez, I didn't know I had that many. Mixed seeds can actually give you artichokes, which you can't get until year two. So there is that. I did get caviar as well. Cultured row of the sturgeon fish, considered to be a luxurious delicacy. This is a special boy right here. This is something that we'll need later, but since we're going to be getting more row, we don't really need to worry about that. I'm just going to sell it, and we'll see how much it's worth soon. Also, the store's closed, so I can't even go buy any amaranth. You hate to see it. I need to go and talk to the wizard. Can't forget that. And, oh, that's right. I actually, I went into the house not knowing what I was going in for. I actually need to make a fried egg. Because uh, we need that for the chef's bundle, I believe. So, keep that in here for safekeeping. Uh, plus two forging. I mean, we're going to be going down to the wizard's hut, so I mean, it wouldn't be terrible to have plus two foraging. Yeah, you know what? Whatever. This plus three attack. Crazy, dude. I, I don't really want to use all the extra coal that we have to make more honey house or, or bee houses yet. Just, I, I, I'm so worried that all of this is just going to go to crap. So I'm like checking it constantly, if you're wondering why I keep going down here. Uh, I'm going to need to put down some more sprinklers, huh? If I want to plant all these mixed seeds. Yep. These can give you a lot of money, so don't ignore them. Yeah, I'm going to go up and get some more sprinklers. Miss that spot somehow. Oh, I'm dumb. I didn't show the farm computer blueprint. Dwarf gadget, battery pack, and 10 refined quartz. The dwarf ga gadget's going to be the hardest thing because we still need to donate it. So that's going to be a process. There we go. And I did make an extra treasure tackle just because our last one broke, and I was quite enjoying it, so... All right, pardon me, folks. I'm going to have to move y'all probably somewhere else. Slap down two of these. Get to work. Well, I don't know exactly what each of these seed types are, but you can see there's a couple of different kinds that they're making. I don't think I've actually planted mixed seeds before, except on like day one or something. So this will be the first time we're utilizing the mixed seeds in a hot minute. And don't forget to put down my scarecrows. Just really want to make sure they don't grab like these four and the ancient seed, because that's important. Anyway, we're going to go down to the wizard. How much was he giving us? I don't care. I'll know once we go down there. All right. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and eat 
the autumn's bounty once we find a foraging item because a higher foraging level means that you have a higher chance of finding better quality and that would be nice oh you know what before we go into the wizard let's take a trip to the secret forest because it should have different kinds of oh another mix seed should have different things to forage yeah look at this still has red mushrooms apparently but we have chanterelles Another type of mushroom. I don't believe that's required for anything in the forge or any of the bundles, so that's that. Still a very pretty place, and I guess I'll go ahead and cut these down while we're here. Yeah, all right. I want to reiterate that I still do want to get a higher foraging level because I want it to be level 9 by the 8th of fall, I believe. And then we can absolutely get some fat berries, so... Exciting. I should have brought something that you love. That's my bad. Here's the payment. Takes years of studies to understand that. Okay. Yeah, I really care. 700 gold. Easy 700 gold. Do I have anything he would like? I feel like he would like mushrooms, right? Because he'd be making a cauldron of... He'd be brewing. But everyone likes mayonnaise. This item has some interesting property. There you go. That was... uh easy few hearts i'm pretty sure that whole interaction so yeah most people like artisan goods and if people don't like artisan goods it's because they dislike a certain one don't give anyone void items though please don't do that you will not enjoy did i eat i didn't i should have when we went into oh come on when we went into the uh forest but it also gives us a buff to the amount of energy we use whenever we chop down trees so i could use that for that as well don't eat the blackberry don't eat the blackberry anything new here don't think so official cap seems new i just don't know for sure if we've gotten any new achievements since the last time we visited so might as well check it out i'm still very happy with my watermelon bow though because it's i don't know it looks good adds a pop of first of all it matches my shirt so there's that but the pink also is a little pop of color that we didn't have before so i enjoy it nothing down here huh completely abandoned nothing growing of course there's still some trees growing but it seems to be pretty empty other than that you know, the more I think about it, I think the walleye might be a... That seems to be it. The walleye might be a rain-only type of deal, now that I think about it. But All right, what to do now? Let's see, I have some stuff to donate. I could do that. I almost did it, I almost did it. Just talk to people. Yeah, we'll go to the library, donate the broken glass shards. Because I feel like that'll... Oh, I could check this again. I don't know if it resets. Okay, it resets every certain amount of days, apparently. So, I wasn't aware of that. I actually haven't done much of these because it's a 1.5 exclusive thing. And it is built in your first fall. So, if you are past fall and you updated recently, it's just going to... What? I could have swore I never gave you glass shards, but oh, it looks like I did. Well, egg is in fact on my face. I don't have that amethyst that I had earlier. Well, darn. I guess other than that, I really would like to make as much money as I can because I need to hit 10K so that I can get the big barn. That's very, very important for me. So what's our levels looking like? Excuse- oh, I was like, wait, how did I get to level 10 today? No, I didn't. It's just because of this, that it's showing that we're at 10. But that does mean that we hit 8, and I don't think we were at 8 before. So that's nice. I'm going to check for more foraging objects up north. Another good source would be just from- of money, I mean, would be just from making as many- fall seeds as we can because I believe those are worth a little bit more than the others other than winter of course good clay oh hey Robin I have hardwood no reason not to give it to you while I'm here it's 
literally the cheapest thing I could ever give anyone as a gift. Okay, so I decided to come up here and cut all of the weeds. I'm getting a lot of mixed seeds. So I'll go ahead and plant those once we get back as well. Ooh, worm. Worm. Prehistoric tibia. That is new. Wouldn't you know it. Crazy how that works. Well, sweet. I haven't found any other regular forageables while I've been going about, though. Unfortunately. This place is... Hey, hazelnut. We take those. I think I should have the stuff to make a few packets of seeds. So we'll do that. I should also check the fruit cave. It's been a while since I've done that. I haven't done it since fall started, and it's day three, so... Yo, yo, one... Wow. Wow. Apple Street still is still unimpeded. Um, well, while we have the foresting upgrade, I guess I'll just go fishing on my trees. No, I'll cut down some trees because it seems like a lot of them grew between seasons. So I'll spend the rest of my time just kind of going about this. Not going to forget to add those extra mixed seeds. How many do I have? Four. So I'll do those four. Oh, God. I'll pl I'll plant one of them up top, I guess. Hey, you know what? No, I'll save it. I don't need to plant it yet. We have time for that, I suppose. Cut down some more trees. All right, I think that'll do it. I'm still trying to keep just a little bit of a handle on my farm. Because, I mean, look at this. This has got to be done someday. This is going to be just someday where I have absolutely nothing to do. I'm going to have to completely clear this out. Because I don't need... Look, I'm already full on hay. So I don't need that much grass. That's for darn sure. I want it to be more up here. But the chickens are keeping it at bay there. So, whatever. Ugh. I have a bit of stuff to put away. In fact, you know what? Let's grab all of our fall foraging stuff. Make as many fall seeds as we can, which is a fat zero because I have no wild plums. That's unfortunate. Put everything else in here. Not the cheese. Oh, it's full. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, golly, dude. Well, that's not good. I don't have a lot of time to mess around here. I know I didn't do my fishing things. Hold on. Free fishing experience, dude. I have 40 minutes, which is like 40 seconds in all reality. Boom. Boom. Uh, don't get rid of that. Oh, God. Cheese. Guess I can give away the fruit. Or the glass, not the fruit, since I don't need that. Hold on. Do I have any plums in here? Huh. I could have swore that I safe saved the plums as well. Oh, well. Go to sleep. Yeah, look at that. Level 8 foraging. More wild berries. Which is good, but... I'd rather get to the third level, more axe proficiency, and we have a farm warp totem, which is useful, very useful, in fact. Is that caviar? 500 each. 500 for the caviar. Doesn't even sell for as much as you'd think, but it's still useful. I didn't check to make sh see what, like, the just the Sturgeon Row made. Oh, yeah, it's raining today. Number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. It's going to be clear and sunny. Then we have neutral luck. If you're a farmer in a small town, it's likely you'll be invited to create a Grange display at some point. Typically, a Grange display consists of nine items that best showcase your, case your talents. Shoot for high quality, high value items, and make sure to have a variety as well. Fish, mineral, artisan goods, fruit, and vegetables are all good to have. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, the Stardew Festival's coming up. Man, I made wine. It's worth so much because it's melon wine. I should make a cheap wine actually. That melon wine's gonna sat sell for some fat stacks, and we do need wine for bundles, so I'm going to have to do that eventually. Actually, you know what? So I think the goal today is going to be to hit 10,000 and actually build that barn. 
because we ought to be able to hit it if we play our cards right. I already made the fried egg, so I don't need that. So yeah, so the reason we need a big barn, and if you watched my summer guide video, you might know already, but we need pigs by the end of fall, which means we need to upgrade our barn, upgrade it again, and then have a pig mature to the point of be of being able to produce what it produces every day. And that's tight. I need to sell all these in person. Lucky with the mel luckily with the melon wine, it should be worth like a couple hundred on its own, I think. Uh, maple syrup. You know what? I should go ahead and make a 20 coal. Sure. That should be enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I also do have like just five diamonds chilling. I could just sell them. I don't, you know, like diamonds are really valuable and all that, but I don't really know what I'm saving them for, to be honest. Look at that, all those pumpkins, all the cran, oh, these are the pumpkins, these are the cranberries. Yeah, it's gonna be producing fat stacks soon. I think today should be a good fishing day as well. Just to sell that fish really quick and then get to 10,000. Hey, there's a wild plum, so we'll be able to sell the fall seeds. In fact, you know what? Please give me two. I got one. You hate to see it. Could sell that right off the bat as well. In fact, since I might be just earning what I need, I'm going to grab stone, hardwood, and wood. Because some of those are going to be needed. What am I doing? Ah, I know what I'm doing. Hazelnut, mush, and blackberry, and make the fall seeds. And I'll go ahead and sell those at Pierre's, and any more money that we need to make to get to 10,000, I'll go ahead and just... I hope she's open on Thursday. That's always my fear. We'll just catch some more fish and sell those. I'll also check the boards because I want to be doing more of those number one for relationships and number two because there's achievements for getting them it's still that early huh didn't even know do what we do check the trash and get trash I don't know what I expected what up seeds for sale I'd assume 750 for the melon wine 450 for the seeds I do I sell the salmon berry this is a question we all need to answer sometime in our life. Who cares? That leaves like that's just that's just a good few fish away. All right, let's go fishing. And this is why we use treasure bobbers. Well, I fished pretty much up to noon because I was trying to get a catfish and. You know, those are worth a lot. I think 200 each, but no such luck. That's fine. Also, we haven't come to the beach on in fall, have we? Except on this rainy day. It's really pretty. The foliage up at the top is like a purple and orange. Beautiful. All right. I think we've caught enough to get enough. Smallmouth bats. 225. That's what? That's 75 each. So yeah, that's exactly on par with a... Sashimi. Tiger trout's worth quite a bit. This should do it, though. Boom. <laughs> Just barely. Wow. Sell the cockle as well. Two bait for two coin. Fisher double bet. Just seeing what he's selling. Haven't checked it in a while. But yeah, uh, the treasure hunter really does be doing work. Alright, so I'm gonna go... I almost said I'm gonna go to Clint to have him break open my... The breaking open a geode is only 25 gold, right? I should be able to go over there and do that and still have enough money. Hello, Sebastian. It's been a while. If you're lucky, you might see a frog in this weather. You're damn right. You're damn right. I don't have man frozen tear. Yeah, he likes to go out in the rain because, by golly, there do be frogs. 25. Yeah, I can do all of these and be fine. Okay, that's good. I'd be surprised if any of these were things that we didn't have before. 
So, I'm not expecting too much. We had that, right? Yeah, we've had all of it, though. But, I'm still going to deposit the prehistoric tibia. Because, at this point, any single one of these could be the, the item to bring us to 60. I... Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. It's not what I thought it was. Did give us a skeleton, though, and one of the rare crows. I guess that must be for, like... How... What are we at? Like, 55 or something? I feel like we've got to be close. Uh, we're going to... Now go and get ourselves a big barn. To the mines. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to take this opportunity to grab everything we have here. Never mind. It's worth literally nothing. Oh. Rob, why are you out here in the rain? Enjoying the weather. Yeah, I guess you would be one to appreciate the somber ambience. I came here to spend some time alone. But I don't mind your company. You're getting soaked. Come, stand under the tree. <laughs> okay, that's funny. It's impossible to describe this feeling, watching the curtains of rain whisper above a silent lake. Hey, a mini harp. You're full of surprises, Rob. I'm impressed. Hey, you're telling me I didn't even know I had one. They make sure that you absolutely, they force you to enjoy this pixel art. I'll tell you what. All right. Uh, what was I doing? That's right. I was getting a big barn. Almost forgot for a second there. That was cute, though. It pays to check everywhere when it's raining. Just in case. So we got a coop. A barn. Blah, blah, blah. I should get a mill sometime soon. We do have rice to go through it. Shed. Which... It's end game stuff, to be honest. Stable. We could get a stable somewhat soon, but yeah, my focus is still on the big barn. It's 1,200. 12. No, 100,000. Oops. Oops. Hey, listen. Listen. That one's on me. We should make. Hmm. If I just spend my time fishing today, I think we should be able to make enough for it. Also, hey, I want to do something real quick. Now, I will admit, I haven't done all of the studying for this, so I don't know if this is 100% true or not, but I know the location's right. I'm gonna go ahead and catch a legendary fish. And not just any legendary fish, the easiest one in the game. Wait, that was a walleye. Oh. Wait, what? What? Ho hold on. Hold on. This is going to have to be a middle of the episode wiki check. Oh, it's catchable 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. For some reason, I read that as 12 a.m. to 2 a.m., and I'm very, very sorry for that. But hey, that... 
completes the river bundle, that's for darn sure. Holy moly, well I just caught a catfish, so I think I'm well trained for this moment. This boy be jumping though, that's for sure. I knew I was in the right spot. So basically the requirements are level 3 fishing. There, there it is. Hey, don't ask me why a deep water, salt water fish is being caught. I like how I'm actually holding its sprite upside down. Don't ask me why a deep water, salt water fish is being caught in the base of a river, but it sure is. It's the easiest angle it's the easiest legendary fish to catch you only need level three you need to be standing around this area and you need to catch it in the top 15 tiles of the river and that'll get it i'm going to continue fishing because i want those fat stacks Okay, you know what? I think that'll do it. We've caught a bream. We're officially into night fishing territory, and I need to go and finish up the night fishing bundle. So that was very, very profitable for me. And yes, I'll say it on wrong on purpose, I suppose. So look at this inventory. Notice the four silver star catfish. I really. So the thing is, you're probably not ever going to get a gold star or especially iridium star catfish, mainly because they're very hard to catch and you're not going to perfect them. So that sucks, but still everything else is not worth a small amount either. Smuggler ring. Sure, but uh, literally all we need to do is get the sandfish, which we probably could have bought and just had the fishing tank finished. I'm just gonna take a look-see around like what we need. Okay. So a lot of the others aren't going to be done for a while. It's literally going to be a waiting game for us. So I think we've practically finished up all of our bundle stuff to do for fall. Until number one, our apple tree grows. Number two, we unlock the desert, which I do want to do in fall. Don't want to wait too long on that because it it's a good source of money. It's going to be the natural progression for like a good until we finish the bundles completely and it also has a chance to give us a red cabbage seed through means ways and means up there so i'm going to want to do that as well hey i'm gonna make a bee house real quick so that we can have that going i need an iron bar i always forget the iron bar because they're so disposable to me boom i mean not for long is it okay I guess I had 10 too many wood. Now, hold on. I'm going to grab that wood. And I'm also going to deposit the wood and everything else here. Yeah, I'm just going to start putting the stone there because I feel like that's where it kind of belongs as a building material. Uh, to be honest, this glow ring is just going to be sold out right. Let's see. Shatter worth quite a bit. Walleyes are worth, I believe, 170, which is no small amount. I don't have... Any, uh, I have the smallmouth bass that I could turn into sashimi, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. And of course, we're keeping the angler. I'm not selling that. Hello? Why would I do that? Bream. Orpiment. Alamite. I'll never really have a reason to keep those. Uh, that should outright give us enough to be able to get the big barn immediately tomorrow, so that's going to be on the docket, of course. I guess I don't really need to show you completely renovating my... That's the wrong spot for those. I do have a rare crow, though, so that's nice. That gives us, what, four rare crows, I think? And then I will place you... That should still be in range. Actually, you know what? I'll put it on the other side, because it'll be closer to the fairy rose. Uh, anyway... Let's see, 1050. That's a lot of time. Did I level up my fishing skill? I did. So I can kind of muck about for a while. And as such, I'm going to cut even more trees. Oh, uh, well, I'm out of energy, so I guess I'm just going to cut 
Since this has a speed increase, it's funny. It's kind of better than the scythe. Just a little bit, though. Yeah, I know, you're tired, but... I've got all day, baby. Itch on my nose. Yeah, normally, once again, I wouldn't recommend... Staying up past one, because you'll have decreased energy, which I think I actually did for the second day of fall, funnily enough, but... I don't... It doesn't matter to me, since I'm going to be leveling up. You always start with full energy at the next day, so it's not a problem. Before we go to bed, I would like to completely eradicate this set of grass if I could, because that'll stop it from growing over here, because I definitely don't want it to. And I don't think I'm going to have a shortage of grass anytime soon, so I'm not particularly worried about it. And bada boom, bada bing. And it, don't worry about grass impeding your apple tree's growth, because it won't impede it at all. Uh, is today the second day of this recording set? Is this the second day of this recording session? Well, yeah, I should just... No, I have the time. Put away all this stuff. I could make a good amount of field snacks if I wanted to. That could carry us over for a while. Anyway, I guess that'll be it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one when we continue in fall. See you all then, and good night.